Okay, so this video aims to answer a very simple question. Should you be using a Shopify drop-down menu or a Shopify mega menu? Now, it's important to note that both of these are two useful tools you have in your tool belt to build a navigational experience for your customer. At the end of the day, your goal should be to make something in your menu that makes it as easy as possible for all your customers to navigate your site. That's the important thing, right? But either way, I'm gonna go over what they both are and tell you which situation should you be using one over the other. Also, stick around to the end for a bonus tip that will help you build better navigation menus for your customers so that, you know, they're more likely to use them properly. All right, let's get into it. Okay, to start us off, I took us to a website called thenotehouse.com, which is actually a site from one of the subscribers in the channel. Side note, she did a wonderful job designing her store. So if you want some design inspiration, Julie is your girl. So definitely check her out. Either way, this is her store. And the reason why we're here is to talk about drop down menus. So you see here, this is her main navigation here. She has four links, collections, seasonal and celebrations, about and contact. Technically, her about link is a drop down. You see how I clicked on it and it well, <laughs> it dropped down content. So it is exactly what it sounds like, right? It drops down content. Now what's important to note about this is you wanna use drop downs when you have a simple thing you wanna show off, right? So a drop down is really useful when you wanna simply show off different categories of content or different collections you have on your store. So you see here, she has collections here and then she has about, right? So if we look at about, Again, this is a drop down. So very simply, she shows off her story, frequently asked questions about her store, reviews, custom orders, wholesale, right? This is how you do drop downs. So if you don't have a big Shopify store with a lot of products, you can probably get away with using drop downs. Also, something that I want you to note here is the top level of her navigation. Notice how she only has four things. Julie is doing this the right way. Please be like Julie. She only has four things up here. One of the biggest mistakes that I see people make, which is related to the bonus tips at the end, stay tuned for that, is they put too much stuff in their navigation menu. She put just as much as she needed. She only has four things here. Now, for the exact data point on how much stuff you should have in your navigation menu, stick around to the end. But I just wanted to point it out real quick because it does relate to that bonus tip. So again, if you have a small store, you don't have a lot of stuff you want to show off, drop downs should be what you're trying to do. All right, so now let's move on to talking about mega menus. Okay, now to show off a good example of a mega menu, we are on KylieCosmetics.com. And listen, I never thought that me, Patrick Pierre, being of sound mind and body, would ever end up on Kylie Jenner's website. Like, no, not me. But hey, here we are, right? And she has a wonderful example of how to do a mega menu. So let's show that off right now. So I'm going to hover over where it says Kylie Cosmetics, right up here. And you can see it creates a really big drop down menu. That's essentially what a mega menu is. A mega menu is just a bigger drop down menu. And this is really useful to use if you have a big product catalog, lots of collections, lots of pages of content, and you want to help people navigate that as easily as possible. Now, the upside of using mega menus is that just like she does here, you can use a bunch of images and things of that nature, and it tends to be a lot nicer to look at. So if we hover over each image, you can actually click on it and it'll bring us to different collections. So for example, this image right here will bring us to our, her best sellers collection, or we can just click the link. We have this image right here that will bring her to her new products collection. And then she has individual products linked down here. So what she's doing here is that she's linking the collection up here. And then I guess the products that have been selling the most or that she wants to push out the most, she puts them here for people to see. And she does that on, on all of them. Actually, this one right here, she has a collection called Kylie Cosmetic Lips. And then down here are a bunch of sub collections that are related to that main collection. 
So lots of different things you can link to in a mega menu. And also at the bottom, she has more links to more stuff. So the point is, if you have a lot of stuff to link to, a mega menu is the way you wanna go. If you stuck around this long, as promised, because I'm a guy that keeps my promises, I'm gonna give you some simple tips that can help you build a better navigation menu, regardless of whether you're using drop down or mega menu. So the first tip is for drop down menus. So you mentioned before, notehouse.com, right? Remember I said she only has four things up here and that's good, right? Now for you, when you're building a navigation menu and you're gonna use a drop down or even just a mega menu, whatever, less is more. Repeat after me. Less is more. You don't want to put too much stuff up here. She only has four things up here and for her other stuff that she wants to include, she puts it into a drop down. So I think the number that you're supposed to use is you can't have more than seven things in your main navigation. Now, that's not my advice. There have been user experience researchers that researched this and they found that if you put more than seven things in your main navigation, usually that leads to something called decision fatigue, which if you're not a fancy uh, person who's into psychology, and I'm not either, <laughs> it essentially means that if you give someone too many choices, they won't make a choice at all, which is bad. So you don't wanna overwhelm your customers. Stick to putting less than seven things in the main navigation, but as I said, less is more. So the more you can consolidate your navigation menu, the better it is for you and the better it is for your customers. So just like Julie, try to keep it short and simple. And if you want to group a bunch of related links into a drop down like she does, that is the move. Okay, that's a tip for drop down menu. Now here's a tip for mega menus. So as you can see, the Kylie Cosmetics mega menu is cool, but an important thing to consider is what does this look like on mobile screens? Remember, most of the people shopping on your Shopify store are most likely shopping on their phone. So you wanna make sure the menu experience looks great on phones. So let's take a look at it right here. We can see she has a bunch of her categories up here. You can scroll left and right to get more of them. And then she has, I guess, mobile drop downs in the mega menu. And then she has these images here. So honestly, if you wanna get an example of how to do it in a good way, you can just visit kylecosmetics.com and check it out on mobile screens and just, you know, try it out, see how you feel about it. But the point here is that you want to take a second and consider, okay, this mega menu looks great on desktop screens, but what does it look like on mobile screens? All right. That about does it for my bonus tip. Hopefully you enjoyed and found it helpful. Now, if you wanna learn how to set up a drop-down menu and how to set up a mega menu for your Shopify store, I made a video on each one and I put them in the description. So be sure to check that out and you know, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications when I put out new videos because you definitely don't wanna miss my tips. Either way, hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next one.